Looking south from our studio at 500 West Boone, that's right across from the Spokane Arena, we're looking south over downtown Spokane, and the clouds are dark to the south, but we should start to see some improvement there. That is not heading this way. It's actually moving away from us, improving conditions this evening. Your forecast for for tonight, skies become partly cloudy, 53 degrees for an overnight low. Could still see an isolated shower or two right around Spokane this evening before we dry out later tonight. Sunny and warm tomorrow. We're back to the calm conditions, and that temperature is well above average. Our high today also at 81. 68 is our average high and a warm start to the day at 59. We picked up 15 hundredths of an inch of precipitation from the thunderstorm that moved through earlier this evening. Needed rain. Uh, 829 is our sunset time. Right now it's 50, 71 degrees. We've dropped quite a bit from the 80s with that uh, shower that passed through. Look at our dew point up at 49. I've heard a lot of people talking about the humidity in the air today. It, this is very low by uh, back east standards, but for us, it's feeling a little sticky. 73 right now in Coeur d'Alene. Skies have cleared southwest winds at six miles per hour. Still watching this line of thunderstorms. It is now east of the Moscow and Pullman area. Colfax moving up through the St. John Indicott area and up toward I-90 moving to the southwest at 20 miles per hour. Behind it, we just have a few isolated sprinkles and those will be tapering off later this evening. We still have the chance of showers and thunderstorms through the overnight for the LC Valley, Moscow, Pullman, the places where we've seen the showers and thunderstorms all week as we haven't seen a lot of change in our weather pattern. We've been on the northern edge of an area of low pressure well to our south, but as low pressure drops out of of British Columbia. It's starting to bring some of that moisture into our region. Tomorrow, however, we will be dominated by more of a northeasterly flow, and that is going to keep the skies clear, the showers and thunderstorms south and east of Spokane before we bring that moisture up again heading into Sunday and Monday. A complicated weather pattern that I'll be happy to say goodbye to here hopefully next week. Overnight lows tonight mainly in the 50s. Skies become partly cloudy. Sunny tomorrow for OMAC. Moses like you may wake up with a few clouds and then skies clear. Sunny and warm around Spokane and Coeur d'Alene. We're back up in the 80s again. Sunny in the Northeast Mountains and North Idaho. You've been missing out on most of this uh, fun that we've been having in Moscow, Pullman, and Lewiston the past several days. And we'll keep the chance of showers going for the Palouse and the LC Valley again tomorrow. Showers for Seattle, Portland, Yakima, and Boise with dry conditions in Cranbrook. Sunny for Saturday afternoon. Showers and thunderstorms possible on Sunday and Monday. Critical timing on Monday with Memorial Day services uh, in the morning for the most part. And then an unsettled week next week. Mm. Temperatures in the 70s, overnight lows in the 50s. So tomorrow's a nice day of the weekend. Tomorrow is the nicest day, mm -hmm. but there'll still be periods of nice weather through Sunday and Monday, too. All right, we'll take it. Sounds nice. Okay. Thanks a lot, Chris. Still ahead, our Head of the Class special report continues. What class is this year's valedictorian?